DX Charts provides complete control over shapes used to represent data series. Your imagination is the only limit to what you can produce with DX Charts. In this video, you'll learn how to modify the shape used to display the labels on a bar graph. So let's get started. I'll start with a WPF application. I've already dropped a chart control onto the window and created a simple 2D side-by-side -side series and populated it with some sample points. You can see the value labels above each bar. For this lesson, my goal is to change the background shape from a square to a circle. For this, I'll need to create a new data template. To keep the code clean and to be able to use the template in multiple charts within the application, I'll use a resource dictionary. In the XAML editor, I create a new window.resources tag. Inside it, I create a locally defined resource dictionary. Now I can create the data template. I'll use its X key attribute to assign a unique name that will identify the element. Let's use template for this. Now that I've created and defined my new custom template within the local resource dictionary, I can start creating the custom shape for the point labels. Let's create a new border. I'll set the border thickness to 1, its corner radius to 9. For the background property, I'll use the binding tag to declare the point brush, which will use the color of each bar to fill the background of the shape. Finally, I'll set its opacity to 1 to disable transparency. Now that I have the border created, I'll create a label inside of it to display the value. I set its content property to retrieve the same text as the label that it's replacing. I'll set the padding to position it properly. And finally, the foreground and font size properties will be set. I want the text to be white and the size 10. I switch to design view. You can see that nothing has changed within the preview. This is because we just created a template inside a resource dictionary and the chart control doesn't know it should use it. So I switch back to the XAML editor. Inside the bar side-by-side -side series 2D tag, I create a new series.label tag to modify the properties of the labels above each bar. I create a series label element. The connector visible property is set to false so that the lines connecting the labels and the bars are not displayed. Finally, I'll use the template property to use the static resource template I created earlier. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. You can see that the labels are now in a round shape that has the color of its respective bar. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.